In this video, I will show you how to record your screen using PowerPoint. So first of all, open PowerPoint, go to the insert tab, press screen recording, select the area you wish to record. It could be small, it could be the whole screen. It's your choice. You then press, oh, check for audio, choose whether you want the pointer on there or not. And then you press record. It'll give you a three second countdown and then it'll start recording whatever's on your screen. You then need to press Windows key, Shift and Q to end it and it will be inserted into your PowerPoint document. Once you have your video it will show up like this. You can click playback and trim. The trim tool allows you to trim the start and the end of your video. You can see very faintly on the screen it has your audio there as well so you can decide where you want to go to. You can listen back to it as well and that will edit the video on here. In order to do further editing, we need to use Adobe Premiere Pro. To do this, you need to right click on your video, click Save Media As. You want to put it into your videos file and you want to give it a name. So, PowerPoint Recording How To. And you click Save. You then Go into the start menu and you type in Adobe Premiere Pro and you click on that link which will open the app. Once the app has opened you will have this box. You want to press new project. You leave everything as it is and up in the name you give it a name. So PowerPoint recording how to. You press OK. And this will open up all this for you. To one side you have import media. So we want to import some media. You have file, we go import, and here we have the two videos I have so far. I want both of those going in, so I'll click open. This is our first video and our second video. I'll have to put them side by side like that because you want one to flow into the other. And you'll see we've got our various audio peaks there. So as we press play, it'll play through and you can see where you've been talking. I want to go back to here and I don't want it to start until that point. So when you hover over the edges, you'll see this little red arrow comes up. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to pull the start to there. And then the same again with that one. And then pull the whole video back like so. Now you don't need to move that one back with it at the point. Um, I'm just doing it to demonstrate at the moment because we will be changing this bit very soon. So go back to the beginning, press play, and you listen through to what it's saying. So at this point, there's a little bit of a gap where I took a breath. So I can press the plus key on my keyboard and it'll zoom in. Gone a little bit too far then. You can see here there's quite a large gap there in between the two, in between the words compared to elsewhere. To sort this out, you click the razor tool. You can press C to get that as well. And then you click and click and then where you want it later you click and click. So that's now separated out this section. Now I'm going to press the delete key to get rid of it and then move the videos up like that. And then when you play it it's got rid of that gap. Another thing that's taken a long time is the loading of the app. 
you don't necessarily want people to sit through watching all of that. So once again, you can either click the razor tool or you can press C. And let's raise the tool the end here. So we've got this last bit. I'm just going to double check what the end of this bit's like if it goes into anything else. So because I have two screens, it's opened on a second screen. So what we'll do is we'll cut here and here as well. And we'll get rid of that end bit. And we will use the rate stretch tool to shorten that down considerably. So they're not having to watch things load for ages. You can then sync up the rest of the video and edit it as you go. They're pretty much all the tools that you need to know for how to edit your videos. So once I've finished editing this, I will do one more video to show how you then export it. So I've now finished putting together the various videos I've taken and it's ready to be exported. So I'm going to press file. I'm then going to click export and media. Now you can use control and M for this as well. And it will bring up this screen for you. If you want the format to be H.264, match source. Uh, you don't really need to touch any of these things. Um, you then press export. Now, if you wanted to make more than one, by clicking Q, you end up getting the Adobe Media Encoder. And you can see here, it says it's ready. So if you've got multiple things that you want to do all at once, you want to bring them into this Q. And then when you're ready, you press start, which is enter, or you press this play button here. So if you're only doing one, don't bother with that Q function. But if you're doing quite a few videos back to back, use Q. Otherwise, go back to export media. You just press export. So I've just fast forwarded through that for you and cut out all, all the bit of waiting. Once it's done that, let's go into your files, into documents. Adobe Premiere Pro 11.0 and there it is, ready to be played.